It's part four of our conversation with rock and roll greatness, Felix Cavallari from The Young Rascals and the Rascals. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. How can I be sure? Was that, that was the one that was influenced by your girlfriend at the time? Yeah, well, that, that whole group of songs were uh, inspired by, a, by a, a relationship that I had at the time, like a muse, you know, yeah. uh, up until, you know, the, from I've been lonely too long all the way till, uh, till how can I be sure when I, I realized, wait a second, I, I'm kind of young to get married. Like, maybe I should maybe I should think about this you know, for a minute. And, and, and then and then it, 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 I kind of we kind of changed to get a little bit more. Uh, I hate to say political, but more more conscious, you know, about the world, you know? You know, How Can I Be Sure to Me is one of those songs. And I remember my reaction when I first heard it. One of those songs, I was thinking, you know, no matter what kind of music you like, you're going to like this song. I mean, it's just one of those universal melodies and the words. It's just one of those. I always had this thing. I used to host a show called Love Songs. I'd go, I'd go think, this song is going to be played in a, in a, in a hundred thousand years. It'll still be playing yeah. that song. Well, I'm proud of that one too. You know, I I, uh, I wrote that, of course, with my partner there, Eddie, and 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 I didn't realize that he had so much trouble with writing it that he asked his brother to help him out with it. I didn't know that till 20 years later, but uh, you know, the idea got across. You know, and and basically, the music, as I say, is an example of the classical training. You know, because it's a pretty interesting one. But I, I don't know, like if you put that out now. If people would even listen to it, you know, who knows? You know, it's so strange out there now. You talked about having a guru. What facilitated, what led to, because, to, you know, I, I, I was very religious and I left the Catholicism and then I, you know, read every New Age book there was. And, and then, yep, um, yep, yep. And then after, and then I became a, a, I wasn't an official Buddhist, but I'd hang out at the Buddhist temple twice a week. Very good. So yeah. What, what led, the, what led you to have a guru? Well, remember now, this is in the 60s, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, actually the, the beginning of it, besides the fact that, you know, you mentioned that my mom's passing, my mom's passing made a big, you know, impression on me, obviously, that was unanswered. There's no answer for that. I was like, wait a second, uh, you know, what is this? You know, I mean, my mom was an extremely religious person. And I used to say, and, and my, my dad went to church when it was raining out, you know, because it was dry in there, you know. So I tried to figure, I said, wait a second. I needed somebody to sort this out. And, 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 and somebody in those days gave, gave me a book called Autobiography of a Yogi. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Yes, I've got so, it. At the end of that book, it says, if you want a teacher, if you want a guru, Ask and he will come. Well, I mean, I don't know if you want to hear the story, but it, it happened just like that. I was doing a television program and there he was. And I made a kind of a jerk out of myself trying to meet him because I was like, oh, wow, you know, and it really it really helped me uh, it, with all my issues. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, being being in the music business uh, is very volatile, to say the least. You know, you're only as good as your last record, you know, and that's a heck of a way to live, you know, whereas people who are like in, you know, like in, in, in medicine or, you know, like my family was mostly in medicine, they're doctors the rest of their lives. You know, I mean, you know, you, you're, you're a doctor, period. But with us, you could be gone and unheard of within six months, a year, year and a half. So it kind of throws you, you know, your balance you know, you, you, and so you, you need answers, especially as a young, a young, you know, because I was in early 20s, you know, so I got my answers. Let's put it like that. And, and that's why I went. I always find that uh, the, a death and that comes up a lot, uh, especially covering classic rock. But I'm 61. Oh, yeah. and I lost a lot of people, you know, and yeah, a lot of people. I remember when Eddie Van Halen passed away, I went on, did a live wow. feed and I went, hey, I'm uh, I'm I'm even at 62. I'm well versed in death. I've, I've had to grapple with it. I've read the books on it. Yeah, because uh, one day, you know, the, the thing about death is one day the, the, everyone says, yeah, but I saw them yesterday. I said, well, yeah, everyone's alive the day before they died. But but at the same time, humans have problems grappling. It's hard to like, where are they? Where'd they go? You know, well, you you, you answered that question when, when when when, you know, you talk about the Buddhists, they pay attention to this word, you know, and I think really, you know, most of the uh, 
most of the uh, you know North American countries, you know, we kind of like, oh, gee, I don't really want to talk about that. I, that's, what do you mean, don't want to talk about it? Like it's going to go away if you don't talk about it, you know. So the, if you if you if you're interested and you really want to learn uh, something, you know, you you can find a path to learning. I mean, there, there's no definitive proof in any way, shape, or form, except for the fact that we are you know, going to pass, you know? So, uh, you know, I would recommend uh, kind of being prepared. <laughs> well, look, the Buddhist, imper you know, impertinence. I mean, uh, uh, nothing lasts forever. It's just, you know, they built the mandalas right out of sand and then they, they really give it away. It's really an interesting subject, man. And and seriously, uh, you know, it's, it's up to the individual to feel the desire to want to explore that avenue because it's really fascinating. You know, when you, when you look at the different cultures and the different way people, there, there, there was, there was a lot of, lot, lot of uh, uh, data out about, you know, I picked up this book years ago of, of all the different uh, uh, ways that different religions and different countries treat the same subject. It is fascinating, you know, We'll have more from Felix Cavallari coming up in a few days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. You want to donate to the channel at the very top of the description? There's a link where you can do that. Or you can buy a t-shirt. That helps the channel as well. We have t-shirts for Rock History Music, Rock History Book, and Rock History Canada. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Music.